Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of the Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I forget, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, well, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank y'all in advance. But on tap for this episode, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a brew from Devil's Canyon Brewing, and they are located in San Carlos, California, up north near San Francisco. But Devil's Canyon, they've been around since well, about 2001 or so. But the beer we're going to be tasting, well, this is one of their flagship beers. This is their Full Bore Scotch Ale. Their Full Bore, their Full B-O-A-R, not their Full B-O-R-E, their Full B-O-A-R, their Full Bore. So this Scotch Ale, this clocks in at a pretty average, or average for a Scotch Ale, a pretty average 7.4% ABV. So, like I said, Full Bore, this is one of their flagship brews, so... Let's get the fun started. Why not? Here we go. Let's pop the top on this bad boy, this full bore. One, two. Boom, boom. Here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no smoke on the can. No smoke at all. But let's give this a little pour here. Oh, but it's pouring with some serious carbonation. I will give it that. Holy moly bejesus. Yeah, that's... That's over three fingers here. Oh, maybe I poured it wrong, but I, I think I know how to pour a beer, but maybe I just poured it a little uh, off on this one. But yeah, we're over three fingers. Um, but I do like the color, very nice color on this. This is that reddish, dark reddish, uh, copper color, and the carbonation, which has taken a while to dis dissipate, uh, is it's, it's off-white. It has a reddish, brownish hue to it. But let's get this to dissipate here. Let's give this a swirl. Let's open up those aromas, and let's see what we got here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. Well, we are getting some malt. There is a molasses sweetness coming through. <laughs> it's, it's rounded out. There's definitely some doughy notes coming through as well. Um, but I'm still waiting for this carbonation to dissipate, and it's just not doing it. But uh, either way, well, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm just going to give this a, let's give it a sip. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do this. Like who this? Here we go. <laughs> okay, wasn't really expecting that. Let me give that another one here. Okay, that is sweet. That's a heck of a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Um, give me one more sip here. <laughs> So, flavor profile. Well, it's a medium body beer. Um, I said we are definitely getting a sweet, sweet, sweet malt. Uh, and there's that molasses sweetness coming through as well. But also, I'll eh, give it another sip here. There's a slight hint of smoke. I mean, really slight. Um, and it's it also those, those doughy notes are coming coming through uh, quite a bit too. Um, but I mean, it's just, it's really, really sweet. Um, and like I said, a heck of a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. But let me give this one more sip. Maybe I'm missing something here. No, well, I did at least say the carbonation has finally dissipated. Um, but it's not really opening up anymore either. I mean... For me, I, th I think, honestly, I think this is lacking, you know, some of the complexities of other scotch ales. They're just, there's not a lot going on. And even the aroma, let me see here. Yeah, even with the carbonation even dissipated more, the, you know, the nose hasn't really changed much either. Although I am getting a slight medicinal uh, aroma coming off it now. Um, I mean, like I said, it's it's... It's just kind of average. I, I mean, it's, like I said, it's it's lacking some of the complexities of other Scotch ales on the market. Um, it's not bad. It's just average. Um, okay, I'm gonna give this one more sip here. Here we go. One more. Hold on. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Yeah, 
No, it hasn't really opened up much. I mean, like I said, it's just, I'm getting that slight smoke and, you know, it's it's the, the malt, the molasses sweetness, the, the sweet malt. You know, on the pint meter, I'm only going to give this one a five. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a five. Like I said, it's just... It's just average. It's lacking a few things. And I just wish the flavors were more complex. I wish the aromas were more complex. I honestly wish it wasn't as sweet as it, as it is. Because um, it's just it's overly sweet, especially for a scotch ale. Uh, there should be some sweetness, but not as much as this. So I think, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Uh, but, you know, it's open. I'm going to give it one more sip. And I think this is, I've given this beer the most sips out of all of them. Uh, but anyways, on that note, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubshaveapintin.com or at the blog, which is www.pubshaveapintin.blogspot.com. And we will see you all on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Raise a pint. Cheers. Prost. And enjoy.